Today in the current generation everyone speak English but the only thing is that they do not have the fluency sometimes they stammering sometimes they unable to decide what to talk in the next and they also unable to judge what should be the appropriate word or phrase in the next situation so to get rid from those old barrier while talking in english here i'm going to tell you few filler phrase or word which you can use rather than getting stuck up while speaking in english i would like to request to everyone please watch the video till the end if it is really helpful for you have a like for me which will keep on motivating me to do the more video here i'm going to tell you filler word as well as the filler phrase so guys without wasting further time let's get started with the first word that is well generally we use the filler word well exactly at the starting of the sentence for example well there are a lot of reason why i am getting angry use the word well when you want to say all right but do not forget to use it exactly at the starting of the sentence let me give an example for clear understand if somebody has asked to you tell something interesting about your city then what you will answer at that time you will get confused and uh, started to saying oh what to say, say about my city isn't it here i'm going to suggest you rather than getting confused start to use saying well if i talk about my city my city is famous about temple the next filler word here i'm going to tell you is exactly most of the time what happening uh, when the conversation happening between two people uh, one person only speaking and opponent person is simply silent am i right to make the conversation very interesting as well as to continue the conversation for a longer period of time you have to support to the opponent person by using the filler word use the filler word exactly when you are completely agree on some other statement for example your opponent person is saying corona virus is most dangerous thing for the person who doesn't have the high immunity power at the time you can say yeah exactly you are right so guys let us move on to the next filler word that is probably use probably when you are almost sure in a statement for example watching hollywood movie probably will be the best way of learning english here you can notice that you are not 100% sure about that statement but more than 90% you are sure the next filler phrase here i'm going to talk about is you know you can use the filler phrase you know wherever you want for example you know i have studied my degree in canada you know i'm a very good english speaker you know i'm a very good cricket player hope you understand it the next filler phrase here i'm going to talk about is by the way use this when you are trying to talk some new things or want to change the topic while some conversation for example two people have a conversation regarding a particular topic suppose you want to come out of that topic and you have to ask something else then what you have to do at that time you have to say by the way what's your profession let us move on to the next filler phrase that is anyway use this phrase when you want to come back to the original topic for example sometimes what happened when you are discussing about a particular topic you move on to some other topic at the same time isn't it so to come back to the original topic you have to say anyway let's see an sentence example anyway you have to come back to our study so guys let's move on to the next filler phrase that is in my opinion to make a conversation very longer as well as interesting you have to keep your opinion for example your opponent person is saying to get protected from coronavirus you have to wear the mask at the same time you can say but in my opinion social distancing is also an important things to follow to get protected from coronavirus the next filler word here i'm going to talk about is wow use this when you got some shocking type news or some great news from the opponent person for example your opponent person is saying i learned the english language just in one month at the same time you can say wow that's a great thing the next filler phrase here i'm going to talk about is what i'm trying to say use this when you are not agree on someone's statement or you are taking some time to deliver your statement for example your opponent person is saying practicing is the only way of improve your english speaking skill suppose you are not agree in this statement 
you should not say directly that I am not agree in your statement. You have to say, what I am trying to say is, practice is important, but also reading books, watching Hollywood movie, thinking in English, also an important things. Let's move on to the next filler word that is seriously. Use this when you can't judge whether opponent person is saying right or wrong. For example, your friend has said, yesterday I ran 2 km just in 4 minutes. At the same time you can ask, seriously? The next phrase here I am going to talk about is, nice to hear. Use this when you want to appreciate other or want to make happy to opponent person. For example, your opponent person has said, I am pretty good. At the same time, you can say, it's nice to hear that you are pretty good. So guys, let's move on to the next filler word that is basically. Use this when you are comparing the fundamental thing to the other. For example, your opponent person has asked to you, where are you from? You are from Odisha, but currently you are living in Chennai. So what do you have to say in that time? You can say, basically I am from Odisha, but currently I am living in Chennai. The next filler word here I am going to talk about is hopefully. Use this when you imagine that something is right. For example, your friend has asked to you how you are going to celebrate this Diwali. You have to say there, hopefully this Diwali I am going to celebrate with very happy mood. Still there are a lot more filler word or phrases are there to discuss but the video is going to become very longer. So I am going to stop here. But uh, till now whatever I told all the phrases and words are very important. So use that in a proper way uh, to improve your communication skill, uh, to improve your fluency as well as to make a long conversation with the other people. Hope you learned something today. Thank you for your attention.